You're here for the official Humphrey Bogart tribute honoring your father and his life and role in several classic films. Tell me what it feels like to be honoring your dad in this way. Well, I think it's fantastic, and I think it's uh, it's also the Smithsonian that's honoring my father, Warner Brothers that's honoring my father, and everybody who's coming to the movie that's honoring my father. So it's a tremendous joy for me and my family and my sister, and uh, it's just going to be a wonderful night. I can imagine. And which of your father's films is your favorite? That is the weirdest thing looking at that thing, I'll tell you that. I'd just like to point that out. <laughs> um, which of my father's films is my favorite? That's an excellent question, and I commend you for it. Um, I, you know, I've been asked that, and, and sometimes I say Kane Mutiny, and sometimes I say Treasure, and of course, Casablanca. Uh, it, there are so many excellent movies that I really, can, I really don't have a favorite. I mean, it should be to have and have not, because that's where I kind of came from, but it's not that either. Okay. And uh, what are some of your fondest memories of your father? Well, he died when I was eight, but I think I have snippets of memories of him just uh, being. You know, that was when I was eight, was 55 years, it was half a century ago, which is way before you were born. And to remember that long is, is kind of difficult in, in terms of, of blocks of time. But I, I have, uh, I, I can picture him on the boat. Uh, on his boat, the Santana, I can picture him at home, I can picture him smiling, just snippets of what I have, photographs of what I have. Great, and my final question is, uh, you obviously didn't live a normal life, as some would say. What was your favorite childhood memory? Well, as a matter of fact, I lived a pretty normal life. I had a child when I was young, and I worked in factories, and I uh, did a lot of stuff like that, but I think my favorite childhood memory was just being at home with my father and my sister and playing, you know, with my friends. I lived I lived down the street from uh, Liza Minnelli and Lorna Luft and across from uh, Sammy Kahn and Art Linkletter and just being at home when my father was alive, my mother was, was uh, everybody was good, and then, of course, everything changed. 